Hey guys, I've got five super spooky plants which are going to heat up your Halloween celebrations this October. Okay, so what better plant to start with than a plant that is pure evil? If there's a beetle or a fly or an insect that slips and stumbles, this plant will actually just eat it for breakfast, lunch and dinner as well. Ah! It's grabbed my hand as well. This is the Venus flytrap. It's absolutely amazing, really fascinating plant. It captures its own prey in order to feed itself as well. Really easy to grow at home on a sunny windowsill. Keep it topped up with water regularly. Our next plant might be known as the electric daisy, but it's actually been selected today because the flowers look like eyeballs. It's a really, really amazing plant in the brassica family. So the same family as cabbages and kale. And not only do they look like really scary alien eyes, but actually if you chew on an electric daisy, your mouth is given an electric shock as well. It's an amazing plant, really easy to grow and great for mixed patio containers in the summer. Now this next plant is called a cryptanthus. It's even got a spooky name, hasn't it? Lots of different types of cryptanthus are available. Some of them are completely brown and actually look dead. In the garden centers, they actually have to have signs on saying, it's okay, I'm alive, I'm not dead. Amazing plant because it doesn't need that much water at all. Really, really tough, durable. You could step on this plant and it would still survive. It's really, really Jurassic in its style as well. Easy grow, doesn't need much water, nice sunny windowsill. Our next plant is Dead Man's Fingers. This is a tree native to the Far East called Decasnia fargaceae. Now, these seed pods are bright blue, the most amazing color that exists in nature. And they look like kind of basically like cold fingers, really. And the best bit, at the point when they're ripe, they actually pop open with a zip and then all of the glutinous substance and black seeds tumble out of the fruits and they will then seed themselves on the ground. An amazing plant for a slightly larger garden and it has excellent autumn color as well because the leaves turn yellow at the same time as those seed pods appearing in the bright blue. It is really a phenomenal combination of colors. Then finally, black grass. This is so, almost so mythical, but it's actually one of the easiest grasses to grow. It's called Ophiopogon planoscarpus. But don't let that name put you off because this is very tough, durable. You can grow this in landscaping areas as well. It's almost unkillable too. And it has this amazing black tinge to the foliage that exists through all different seasons as well. It's a really, really durable grass for dry, shady corners, but also mixing it up in your containers in the summer, autumn, or the winter.